What's going on YouTube? Oh, let me adjust this real quick. So my stand's really messed up. Um, this is another contest video for uh, for Hero Hunter 81. Um, he's one of the guys I subscribed. One of the first guys I subscribed to. Um, you know, all the time ago. I can't remember how long it's been, but he's one of the first guys I subscribed to. He has an awesome collection. Um, love his his wall of books he has. Um, he's I've actually learned a lot about some of the, you know, the, the rare books I was able to pick up or some of the books I, I have picked up and just got interested in them through his videos like my, pers my, my Cursed Pirate Girl collection. I first saw that on his videos. Um, I can't remember. There, there, there was a number of books that I've, I've seen through his videos that I actually ended up picking up myself. So, But congrats on the subs. You got a hell of a lot of subs, you know, so uh, congrats on that. And thanks for having the contest video. Uh, so, he only asked really one question. It's not even a question, you know, he just basically wants us to show any rare, hard to get books um, that we have, um, which I'm not sure how many of those I have. I have a few, but um, key books um, that was hard for me to get, I guess, you know. Um, and or just expensive keys. Um, so I, I want to show a lot of books. You know, I always take an opportunity to show my collection off and some of the books that I'm very proud to have. So I'm going to show a number of books. Uh, so I'm going to get started real quick. You know, but congrats on your subs, and I'll start right away. Uh, my favorite buy this year so far. I just showed in uh, this last week. I just picked up at the Road on Comic Con. This is a rare book. Um, Cry for Dawn third printing. Signed by Joe Linzer. Pretty cool. Um, and I guess this is a rip. Excuse me. Yeah, sneezing. Um, oh, and I guess my Walking Dead number one would be a, a low print run kind of book. Um, I don't have that. It, it actually, I got it signed by Kirkman at the New York Comic Con. Um, and it's getting signature seared and so it's going to be months till I see that from CGC. So that's a low print run I have. Um, there's a few books I don't have with me, like my Kurt Pyre Girl collection. I should be getting within the next week or two. Um, I had them signature seared, all three books, done by, uh, signed by Jeremy Bastian, which are low print runs. Um, so I'll be getting them soon. Um, and uh, so I don't have a lot of, I don't think I have a lot of low print runs. And if I do have them, I don't know if they're low print runs or not. Just, I just know them as keys. So, but I'm going to show some books. Um, this is a pretty rare book, I guess. All-Star Comics 24. It's a Golden Age book. Pretty cool. I'm just going to go through some of the uh, most recent purchases because I have them right here. By Vampirella, number one. I think you actually just recently picked up this too. Um, so... Also, my Detective Comics 359, First Batgirl, and the first Poison Ivy. I also have First Harley Quinn's getting graded right now, so no big deal. I'm going to go through pretty quickly. Um, I also have, uh, this is a pretty, uh, I think, low print run book series. I found this out about, I found out about this from Tim Morant, which I didn't know. Um, anything about until he he said something about it was well, I before E number one and I also got number two which is the set so um, very first max story it says so yeah so I got that that they're pretty rare let me just keep them up there what else um, close my walking dead books got them they're pretty rare uh, there's another book I have that I want to show. Excuse me, I should have grabbed this out of the box before. Oh, now this is a pretty strange book. I think this is probably a pretty low print run just because of who did it. Um, I just found it really interesting. Um, so it's Hansy, the girl who loved the swastika. Um, it's got a little value because I'm pretty sure it's pretty uh, a pretty low print run. Um, it was put out by Christian Spire Comics. Um, it's just really interesting, and you know, it just I found the the whole idea of this book 
Um, I don't know. Interesting, you know. Th that's about the best I can say about it. So it's, it's it, it is pretty rare, I guess. I'm not sure what the print run is on it, but yeah. So okay, let me show some of my graded comic books, uh, which are have some of my more uh, expensive, rare, whatever. So I got Avengers number one. 3.0 I got sorry I got Avengers number four a 5.5 and I'm just grabbing these out of the case and I got Aquaman number one 8.0 that's pretty cool oh I think this is probably a low print run also I'm not sure what it is but it's primer Kimiko Comics Primer number two, 6.5. I also have Grendel number one, two, and three. Grade it. Uh, I'm not going to show them though. Oh, this is a low print run. I'm not sure how many there are. Maybe 200, 200 to 400 of them were done, I think. I'm not positive though. So if anyone knows how many of these were done, I couldn't find it. I tried looking up on the internet, um, but I couldn't find it. But it's a Superman Unchained number one, the lenticular cover variant. Um, these were actually um given out uh to uh what do you call it retailers so there's very few of them this is one uh, this one i had signed by scott snyder at the boston comic con so that is i know a really low print run there's not too many of them um what else do i get oh here you go i think you got this one too uh, San Diego Comic Con number two, first uh, appearance of Hellboy. Well, you know, beside the uh, what's the other one? Um, the the one was only appearing on the cover, the Italian magazine one. Uh, I can't remember what it's called Penny something or whatever. Uh, but yeah, this is basically the first appearance of Hellboy in comic. San Diego Comic Con um, number two. And so come back. It was a nine point six, and I had it signed by Mike Mignola. So. That's pretty cool. Um, well, I think this is pretty rare. Uh, I've never seen this book anywhere else, so I've never seen it on anyone's video. I've never seen it out in the wild any other time, or even online. You know, so this is the first appearance of Johnny Quest in comic books. Um, it's from 1964. It's a uh, Gold Key, Hanna Barbera, Johnny Quest, Mystery of the Lizard Men, and I got this for like five bucks. It wasn't. I, I got it really, really cheap. And it was when I first started collecting comic books again, I picked it up online. And I think I got it on a lot or just one of those books I grabbed, you know. Um, when I was a kid, I watched a lot of cartoons and stuff. And Johnny Quest was one of them, especially the Hanna-Barbera stuff. You know, so, yeah, that's pretty rare, I think. Um, and let me see. What else we got? Oh, here we go. That's a pretty cool one. My Justice League of America, number one, came out at 3.0, 1960. First appearance and origin of Despero. Um, unfortunately, this one here, well, I got the tape along the spine, but it's also got a married centerfold, so I'm still unsure that it's a green label or a purple that's considered restored, so I'm probably restored, so. Take this down. Okay, my giant size X Men number one, seven point five. Um, didn't pay too much for this. A um, couple hundred bucks. Got it back a good grade, so very happy to have that. Um, oh, here goes another one. I got my. This is. It's pretty rare. <laughs> Daredevil number one signed by Stan Lee. Pretty cool. Uh, and I think this is just pretty rare because of the grade it's in. Um, and for the price I paid, I paid five bucks, something like that. It wasn't very much. I'm, I got this in like a lot of books. Um, in a large lot and it came back at a 9.6 Vader's number one and I don't know I looked it up in the guide and it's like 175 200 bucks at this grade so 
that's pretty cool. Um, so we got my Iron Man number one, 6.0. Not the best of grade, and also I was so disappointed when I got it back and it came back with a slight color touch. Um, I might have to someday get a better copy. Or no, you know what? I really want to get uh, his first appearance, though, so maybe I'll just keep that one. But I got my Captain America 100. Uh, oh, this is a cool book too. It came back at a good grade. I didn't pay a little. I didn't pay too much for that book either. I think it was like actually I paid a little bit. I don't remember like maybe seventy, eighty dollars. But it came back at an eight point zero, so it's pretty cool. Um, I'm getting there. I have a. I'll show sure say one book for last. Uh, Submariner number one six point zero. I don't think that's too rare. It's not too expensive either. You can get it pretty. You can get it pretty cheap. Um, these are pretty cool. Um, Strange Tale 69, a 5.0. This was, um, this is supposed to be the prototype for Professor X. So that's pretty cool. Um, from what I, everything I read, that's what it's supposed to be. Uh, and this, along the same vein as that, um, this is Tales of Suspense number 35. Now this is supposed to be the prototype for the Watcher, um, Zarkor. So, and, I had an early Journey to the Mysteries, number 86. It's the earliest one I have. And of course, my, my holy grail, I guess you could say, would be Journey to Mystery 83. Um, so, that's pretty cool. And I guess I'll show one more book. So, here you go. This is probably the, this is the first big book I bought. Um, and it's in horrible condition. But it is what it is. So, Amazing Spider-Man number one. So it came back at a .5. I bought this from my local store and it was the first big purchase I ever made, really. Um, and I was really disappointed when I got it back, graded, but I'm very happy to have it now. Um, Cause I thought it would come back at least at a one. And it also came back incomplete cause it had binder holes, if you look. I just don't understand why anyone put this, these books in binders back then. It just doesn't make any sense to me at all. I guess back then they weren't really thinking about collectability and stuff later on in life. and So yeah, so that's about it. I'm not going to show any more books. That's a lot of books I just showed you. Now, I'm not sure which ones are really rare, but there are, some, there's a, lot, there are a lot of keys there. Um, and I'm sure I have uh, rare books. I have other books that I know, like only 500 of them done. Um, but you know what? I have one that was from Fangoria. Mag uh, Fangoria uh, was put it out. It's... I can't remember what it's called, but it's like only 500 of May, but it's it's not really worth anything. It's, it just, it's just a low print run, so. But yeah, so the, uh, congrats on the subs. I really, really enjoy your videos. Um, I know that I guess recently you haven't been buying, making a lot of purchases recently, so uh, I'm looking forward to some of the other books you do get, you know, start picking up again when you start buying them again. Um, and I really look forward to your videos, um, so. Yeah, congrats on the subs again, and thanks for having this contest. Bye.